Hello, my name is Maxim and today we'll be talking about automating your workflow with Git using Git hooks. Git provides an interface to run some code on specific triggers. Those triggers are called Git hooks. Basically, those are scripts located in your .git slash hooks directory. Depending on their name, they will be run on uh, different triggers. For example, pre-commit will be run before every commit or pre-push. It will run before every push to remote server. If you open any of those sample files, you will see that they are just uh, regular bash scripts. You can specify different interpreter and use, for example, Python or Node scripts. The only rule here is that they should be executable. To see the whole list of available Git hooks, you can go to Git documentation. They're all listed there. It might be quite cumbersome to manage Git hooks and make them available for the whole team you are working with. But luckily there is a tool called Husky that provides nice interface to manage Git hooks in JavaScript-based project. To start using Husky, you need to install it as dev dependency first. After you've done with that, it's time to configure Husky. Now go to package.json and add Husky block. In this block, we add field hooks. And in our case, we are gonna add only pre-push hook so that on every git push, we will run npm test. And we run it in CI mode so that we don't have just standard just prompt. And I already broke the single test that this app had. I've added expectation that true is equal to false. So it will fail. Now let's try to commit and push our changes. I run git add, git commit failing test. And now we'll try to push this code. As you can see, we are running our hook through Husky. We are running test and uh, test fails and we didn't push anything. Here you can see that Husky suggests to use no verify option if you want to skip testing whatsoever. Let's fix our test and run Husky again. I remove this line and run git add git commit, fix it, test, and I run git push again. Husky ran its hook, test pass, and we successfully pushed to master. So this is how you work with git hooks using Husky. It's super simple, you just add configuration to your package JSON or Husky RC or Husky RC JSON configuration file, and there you specify what hooks you want to use to trigger your scripts. If you want to see more examples on how to use Git hooks, I recommend visiting githooks.com where you have a list of use cases and also list of libraries that can help you working with Git hooks. Link to this page will be in the description. And for now, thanks for watching. If you have questions, put them in the comments, press like button if you like this video and subscribe to the channel.